What's going on guys and girls? My name is William Clark and uh, welcome to a video. So I made a video, um, a couple of videos back actually, about me wanting to get a job. Now this video, it's going to be a little sad, a little depressing in a way, but it is the truth though. So, I'm thinking of potential places where I could work, right? Go to, like, gas station, work over at, uh, Dollar General, stuff like that. I think I said those in the last video I made about this whole subject. Um, but, the thing is, I have no work experience. I have no real idea of what's going on. I mean, yeah, I could probably stack shelves. I could work the cash register, I could probably do other stuff as well, like clean the place and all that, but in terms of like any sort of personality that goes on there, any sort of um, idea and all that, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't really have much of any personality when it comes to that kind of stuff. Now you might be wondering, why would that be important? I mean, you're working at a fucking gas station. So why would that be important? Well, the thing is, I mean, almost everywhere you work, you got to have some sort of personality. Um, <clears throat> first of all, you got to be, um, you got to be good at whatever it is you do to even be considered, because most likely any sort of jobs, gas station, Dollar General, whatever, they they probably have tons and tons of resumes to work from, and they would only pick a certain few people, because when I went there, <clears throat> the other time to get strawberry milk, uh, there are different people working. There's, uh, well, my friend Bailey, she used to work, I don't know if she still does, um, but I know she used to work where the where they serve the pizza and other stuff, uh, where they make the pizza and where they make other food and stuff like that. Like actually make the food, you know, the cheese bread, chicken salad, ham salad, whatever. And also, um, it's over at Hills, by the way, uh, Hills um, gas station. When I was there this time, I. There, um, my friend Andy, she was working there, and that was about it. There's like one or two people actually working there, <laughs> but I know it's a really small gas station. Most, if not all, gas stations are small. You probably have a daytime shift and a nighttime shift, like almost every place. But I'm not really all that really acquainted with anything that goes on over there. I mean, even though I've lived here in Meigs County and racing for how many fucking years at least? Yeah, moved here in 2005 and it's 2018, so, I don't know. My math is hurting me, probably 13 years or so. I've lived here that long and I'm not even fully acquainted with this place. Not to mention, I don't really feel safe here either. And you already know how I feel about the whole uh, police force and all that stuff and the sheriff and the courthouse over here in Meigs County. You know how I feel about those people. If not, roughly, I don't trust them. They're so corrupt. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. Same thing with Dollar General. you got to have some sort of personality you gotta have good work experience. You gotta do your job right or else you will get fucked. And by fucked, I mean you will probably be um, just fired and all that stuff. And yeah. And now, here's where we get to more of my sphere of things like videos, you know, making videos. I and mean, look at the video that you're watching right now. Try to count how many pixels you see. Try to count how horrible. This quality video is. Yeah, you can't count. That's the thing. Okay, so 
I want to work over at High Five Studio where Matthias works. And if you don't know who Matthias is, let me give a little, little um, basic idea. He and his uh, he and his friends and his workers, his co-workers, and whatever. Um, they do a lot of product stuff, you know, product te uh, testing and all that good stuff. Um, and now they're doing dope or nope. It's, he does a lot of cool stuff. He he does music. He does video. He's good at what he does. And he is basically a master at what he does, as well as his friends and you know coworkers and all that stuff. But the thing is. I want to work for him, or at least be a part of High Five Studios. I mean, but this is where the problem comes in. I'm not good. Oh, I'm not good at high quality videos. And I could do high quality videos. I could do vlogs and all that stuff. But the problem is everything. I'm not good at editing. I'm not good at actually having content that people want to watch, as obviously shown right here. Just look at my damn channel. It's like 254 subs or whatever, and like 18, almost 19,000 views. I mean, it's good for what it is, but compared to people like Matthias and Markiplier and people like that, it's just... I don't know. I mean, I'm not good at what I do. And what I do is this. You know, making videos. And like I said, I'm not good at editing. I'm not good at the whole video making thing. I've been doing this since like 2012. So basically six years I've been doing this. And I just don't know. I just... If I were to work somewhere, I don't know if I'm going to do good or not. Because it all depends on what they'd have me do. Now, I could do stuff from Wrecked, you know, and just like destroy things. Or I could work for uh, the Team Edge side of things, where, you know, they do stuff like uh, they make challenges like. Don't fall in the water, or, you know, just as an example. Don't do this, don't do that, the whole stuff like that, like Team Edge. And I could probably do get good gaming and play a lot of video games, because that's another thing I'm somewhat good at is video gaming. But even then, I've got a feeling he would want me doing a hell of a lot more. Not just, like, playing video games and all that stuff, but actually, you know, doing stuff. Like, you know, have good content to post and all that other stuff. But that's, that's the issue here. I'm not good at what I do. I mean, I make YouTube videos. And I really want to make YouTube my life. I want to make it my job. And that's roughly what High Cloud Studios and Matthias does. They do YouTube videos, and they make a living out of doing so, both the company and themselves. I mean, that'd be awesome to get to test products and you know just have fun, joke around, stuff like that, all the you know all the time. But you know, most likely, first of all, it has to be in the area, you know, LA, around that area where they're at. And second of all, I'd have to at least have some experience and some actual good experiences, like a lot of high quality videos, high definition, uh, and editing and all that stuff. But the thing is, I am not good at anything. I have no qualities or anything like that. So, I feel like any sort of job I do, whether it be working for high class studios or even something simple like a gas station, 
I feel like I'm going to fail at whatever it is that I do because I have no qualities. I have no real personality. I mean, there are people out there, you know, like Matthias. He can do almost everything when it comes to videos. He can do music. He can do uh, some more. He can do art. He can do everything. He can make videos like no one's business. He can probably edit a lot. And what can I do? Nothing. The only thing I can do is play video games. That, that's it. I mean, that's the only thing I can do. And even then, I'm not very good at what I do. I mean, yeah, I do videos. I'm not good at doing that. Because obviously you can see. You can fucking see it. And I, 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 I know, a part of it is the bad internet. We don't have good enough internet to upload a one or two gigabyte video at high speed and have those uploaded in a day. A lot of people are like, well, why don't you just, I don't know, upload for one day and then, you know, ha take time to either practice editing or whatever to make your other videos better and then upload those, upload videos once or twice a week, maybe three times a week. I mean, I would do that, but I feel like, I, I, I feel like I have to upload every single day because if I don't, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. That's the thing is that that's why my videos are shit. That's why my videos are low quality. They're not good. They're not entertaining. They're not any of that. They don't have any cool explosion effects. They don't have any sort of awesome badass commentary. They don't have 4K resolution. They don't have any of it. I mean, sometimes they have pretty good resolution. Sometimes. <clears throat> and that, and I don't have any set things I do. Like, yeah, I could make my video, I, mean, I could do a dumpster diving channel, I could do a whatever. I tried doing a gaming channel. That failed. I tried doing a Pokemon channel. That was all about Pokemon. That failed. I tried doing whatever, Bernie the Chihuahua. It was about Chihuahuas and My Little Pony. That failed. So the only thing I can ever do is this. And this is universal. Like, it has everything that I have. On my on all my other channels into this one, but the thing is, I have no real idea. A lot of people they say be yourself. That's how you get the views. That's how you get the subscribers and whatever. I've been doing that shit for six years, and it hasn't really got me anywhere. Yeah, I mean I'm grateful for. All you guys that have subscribed and are watching these videos, I am, I'm glad, I'm happy that you guys are watching. But, I mean, at this rate, I can't do YouTube as a job, either, not even part-time. I mean, I would love to do YouTube at least as a part-time job. If I can do it as a full-time job, that'd be great, even better, but I can't. The thing is, it's just that between the fact that I don't have enough subs or views or hours watched, and the fact that even if I did, YouTube would be changing all the, the fucking rules, it's just, I don't know. I mean, when I was filling out a resume online and all that stuff for whatever, I mean, I didn't know what to put. And everywhere at least has to have some sort of resume. Otherwise, they don't even consider you. They don't even look at you, you know. And, you know, th th that's the thing as well, is that I don't know what to put on my resume. I haven't done anything with my life. I haven't done a single damn thing. I, the only thing I have done is graduated high school. But I don't have good grades. I don't have anything really to put. I never worked in the military, nor do I have any plans to. I don't 
have any job experience as is. I don't have any actual... I mean, my goals in life are to become a, a good YouTuber and to get paid for doing what I love, and that's YouTube. But that's not... I, I feel like that's never going to happen. The thing is... I would have already kind of been there if YouTube hadn't really fucked me over and other YouTubers by changing what needed to be done in order to get paid or even monetized. And it's just, I don't know. And this this also goes along with the whole jobs, as, you know, looking for jobs as well. Between the fact that I have no work experience or any sort of job experience or anything like that or any legitimate good thing that would make me a good employee or whatever. But I mean, it's, I feel like it's going to be impossible for me to find a job and especially to do a job in what I love or in any sort of thing. I, I understand I can go to college and learn, you know, how to edit, how to fix computers, how to make computers, how to do this and that, stuff that I'm interested in. I understand that, but college is way too fucking expensive. First of all, I know you can get your, I know there are online classes, but to get a diploma or a degree, you have to pay. And it's just ridiculous. I mean, I just want to be good enough at something. I want to be good enough at something to, I mean, editing or whatever, to, I mean, work as a YouTuber or work for Matthias or something like that. I just can't. I have nothing. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it in this video, but I really do have nothing. I have no clue as to how to edit. I mean, I have edited before, but those were just merging clips together into one giant video. That's it. And I have messed around with filters, but that's not editing. That's not editing. That's just using filters on a camera. Anybody can do that. It's like anybody can merge things together to create one thing. I want to do more. I want to know how. How do I become good at YouTube? How do I go about getting a job when I have nothing? I have no past experiences with jobs or whatever. I have no personality when it comes to this kind of stuff. I have no qualities that anybody would want. I have no really good resume to fill out. I have nothing. Now, another thing is that with editing, if you have like a five or six gigabyte thing like what I have right here, you're not going to be able to edit much. It's not like, you know, hey, I have a, I've got a badass computer that I can just, you know, edit everything. You can do Photoshop, you can do this and that. You could do a five second video and edit to your heart's content, whatever. But I can't do that with a five gigabyte thing. And also, even if I could, it won't be that good as opposed to, like, what the professionals use. I mean, this is where I'm just stuck. I mean, I can't really get a job if I'm not good at anything. I can't work for certain people that I want to work for because, again, I have no qualities or any sort of good job experiences or anything that I'm actually good at. I mean, I could be the person that is like a receptionist or something. I could be someone that, you know, I guess 
answers questions via email or or Twitter or something like that, but I don't know. I just don't fucking know. This is just... I really don't know. I mean, yes, I got a cool chair right here. I got a lot of good stuff, but... I mean, just making my room uh, presentable for videos and whatever, that's not good enough. And I know that. I know it's not good enough. Just because I have, like, a cool chair right here. Because I got a lot of cool stuff on my shelves. Because I got a cool uh, table and all that stuff. And desk to work with and all that. I mean, it's good. I mean, it helps a little bit, but it doesn't help enough. I have to actually put in effort. And I know I'm lazy as fuck. Okay, I know I'm lazy. But, I mean, if you know anything, I mean, if you know, if, if, what have we learned about this video so far? What have we learned? That I am not good at anything when it comes to what I want to work with and who I want to work with. I mean, even if I worked with Markiplier, same thing, I'm not good at editing. I'm not good at video making. I'm not good at any sort of original content. Well, then, then again, nobody really is because all the original ideas are taken nowadays. And it's impossible to come up with anything new. And I know I started at a time where Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and PewDiePie were also starting. Also Matthias and all this at a time. And, you know... It's impossible nowadays to even consider becoming famous. I mean, at this point, I don't care if I'm famous. I don't care if I get paid. I mean, I would love to get paid. That's the whole point of why I want to get a job on YouTube or work for people so I can get paid to upgrade my equipment and all that stuff. But the, the thing about it is, again, if there is, if I'm not good at doing anything, if I'm not really good enough for anything either, how can I work? I mean, it's not like someone is just automatically going to call and be like, oh, hey, uh, we need someone that can, um, you know, that can work for us that doesn't do a damn thing. That's basically lazy as fuck. Okay, I'm signed up. But, you know, that's also a lot of other people. So even if that were to happen, there's several billions of people out there that are more better at it than I am. I mean, hell, everybody on YouTube, even the people that I'm either subscribed to or that are subscribed to me, they make videos better, way better than what I can do. I mean, look at this. Uh, look at this video. All you really see is just fuzziness. Like, it's about, like, static's about to come in. I just don't know what to do. I'm, like, I'm stuck here. I just... And also, at the same time, I want to leave Meigs County. I want to leave Racing, Ohio. Go somewhere bigger and better. But to do that, I need money. To do that, I need skill. I I don't I'm not I don't have any sort of skill. I can swing my machete. Woohoo! Who gives a fuck? I mean, there are also a lot of people that can swing machetes better than I can. Let me get a drink of water. Hold on. I mean, seriously, I have no actual qualities. Another issue here is that I repeat myself a little too much. You know, how, guess how many times I've said I have no qualities, I have no 
whatever. I have no job experiences in this video. Guess how many times I fucking said that? Even I can't count that much. I, I always repeat myself way too many times. And I don't even know anymore. And I'm not giving up doing YouTube videos. I'm not even saying that at all. But what I am saying is that, I mean, again, I have no experience of anything else. I'm not good at anything. So getting a job for me would be impossible if I'm not good at doing anything. So with that, guys and girls, that's it for this video. I would have made a live stream on this, but I feel like it's, this is way too important to do a live stream and risk not showing a damn thing because the live stream sucks. But if you like this video, please give this video a like. If not, that's fine too. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below to get notified of my future uploads and live streams. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, people, and bro hope.